Welcome, Aries. Thank you for joining me. Going to do now your heart spread. Call it the end of October time frame. Using the Gilded Terra Royale. If you give a darn. Um, now, I do this uh, every Monday, Aries and Taurus Day. And Tuesday, Gemini, Cancer, and so on. So I do the whole Zodiac with the heart spread. And one week um, ending with uh, Aquarius and Pisces. Um, on Saturday, Sunday, um, take a break. <laughs> God rests on Sunday, I can rest too. The gunman it honestly, usually I like doing something on Sunday. I do like special readings. Uh, this Sunday, go look, uh, did a reading for pets. Uh, what does your pet most need to tell you? Um, and I thought it was the first time I did it, I'm gonna do it again. So make that, I wanna, I'm sure what to do with that. I wanna make it a weekly read at least, though, because it felt really good. And it seems so important, it settled, you know, yes, pets have souls, yes, they uh, you know, have karmic relationships with us. Uh, all these things that are obvious. And over the weekend too, if you would, by sign, for every sign, I had 12 readings, a special Mercury retrograde reading. Uh, really trying to uh, dig in and look at the person that kinda is on your mind and maybe comes back during these retrogrades, uh, that past energy, the one that got away energy, this is not a reading for someone you're actually engaged with, that, that would be like today's heart spread if you're Aries here. Um, we'll look at you and your person you're thinking of, the one that's in your heart. So uh, that one, you know, give it a swirl if you think you might have someone like that in your life. You could be married and very happily married or you could be single, it's not really about that. Because this is a relationship, you kind of know it's not going to happen. It's just gotcha, you know. And and I think there's power and information in that uh, feeling. Uh, it's probably helpful. But right now, this person on your mind, damn, gun it. If there's a cross watcher of Aries, Aries is very sincere and sincere in everything they say. Aries really means it. Um, you're just coming from this really solid place, grounded place. This is Earth energy. Very most likely it's going to speak to Taurus in your chart, um, but this can speak to Saturn in your chart and synastry with someone, a strong Saturn contacts, a certain conjunctions, many uh, different types of positive or, or harmonious aspects like trines um, and sextiles with Saturn and personal plans, especially Venus, especially the Moon. Um, gives you this solid feeling. I feel like you just have a solid feeling. I mean, you might, uh, I typically read this kind of as a new relationship, but maybe this is something that's existed for a while with you. That's what's on your mind. The Five of Pentacles, what a very different vibe to get from the other side. Justice flashed up on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy here, your opposite Aries, and also a marriage or a divorce involved and so Aries how very different um, this is look at how robust and powerful that is that's you where your mind and heart is at around love and relationship Aries that's the you know it's not the ram but I'll take it I mean that's powerful primal strong energy you being you I had this feeling uh, just before I did started the camera started rolling uh, I felt like for myself, it was like burn, man. Just burn, 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 burn. And maybe it's like that. This is you in a very controlled way with the pinnacles, a very solid way, like really burning. A hard, strong, deep burn that feels good, like you can sustain it. But it's a powerful. And man, is this the opposite. The person that you're with... Um, it lost in lo a lack mentality. This represents where they're at. I mean, this means very much they're coming from a place of lack mentality, like profound lack mentality. Pinnacles, um, they really don't feel good enough. There's just all this whole levels of stuff with them. You're past all that. You damn well, you are not even worried about are you good enough? You're like a you know, like a horse running through the fields uh, and uh, sowing its wild oats, you know. Um, very powerful energy. Um, I need to clarify this. Uh, Five of Pentacles, Spirit. Eight of Swords. 
So you're thinking of someone that is in this lack mentality. You got to know it if you didn't. You know now because if this you're reading, oh yeah, well, that's what that is. Well, they often lash out, you know, because they don't really understand that it's a lack mentality. So they tend to project it onto where, you know, their partner is a likely target. Unfortunately, well, anyone in proximity, emotionally, children, <laughs> friends. Uh, that energy often wants to be projected because it you don't want to own this energy uh, but it's a deep feeling of just not being good enough and this is them being very negative and probably projecting this negativity out and you know I see you standing off over here by yourself and very strong kind of looking back you know like maybe you're just looking at this situation here this person you're thinking of. There's a marriage involved somehow, Aries. Knight of Swords, that's your energy as you're expressing it to them, the way you're expressing yourself to them, the way you're feeling about them, the way you're reacting to them is with the Knight of Swords. But you know, this Knight of Swords is going back towards you, your Ace of Pentacles, not towards them. I believe like with this uh, Knight of Swords, you delivered to them a message, um, would have been a difficult, tough message, you know. This would be like the message the king would, would send. I just, out of honor and respect, want you to understand, you're saying to your person, that it's over. Or as the king might say, classically, I want you to be advised that you are now in a state of war with my kingdom and we are going to attack you. You know, something very strong. Now, this may have been about a marriage here. You know, this could have been very much could be uh, communication, uh, words, uh, a divorce document, handing someone a divorce document. I'm telling you. And how are they reacting to you? Aries, King of Swords, wow. Um, it's not really love, it's like control. Um, they're, you sent your message to them, like let's be real, you sent the message, could be I divorce, could be uh, we're going to war, and they were like, let's do it. I'm not afraid of you, I'm ready. They probably have very negative things to say. My sense is, you look at how similar this Eight of Swords is to the King energy, and honestly, to your Knight energy. It's like, guys, you know, you, you've gotten involved, Aries, in this. Look how it's all the same here. It's like one big card, and there's all these swords, and it's like this one-upmanship. You, you know, you can't win a relationship, but you know this. That's why you're standing off here looking at this clusterfuck, and I can see why now. And you're going like, I'm solid, I'm me. And I'm starting over anew, I'm good, you know? And you're leaving this person behind in their lack mentality here. But there's, you know, they would be arguing, they would be trying to win, they would be basically fighting you, one-upmanship, you know? You come to them with your knight, which is uh, very elegant and forceful, and they meet you with the king. So I wouldn't expect cooperation out of that energy if that's what you were uh, wanting. And this king is a very sternly facing four with his sword at the ready, this king. He doesn't, he's like, no, you know. Um, fixed air, could be Aquarian energy. It's intense. Look at this. Nine of Cups. This is your advice from Spirit Aries. And that's just saying, you know, under the Knight of Swords here, that you've delivered your message. Now walk away and live your life and just be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. This is Venus energy here. And, you know, it's just so um, feeling really good in, in yourself. Like you, when you're in this energy, you know, you really don't need a lot. You're feeling pretty good about yourself. Um, they call it the happy bachelor energy, okay? But cups are emotions, and really happy to see emotions here with you because now you're really walking with, there's no emotions over here with your person. They're all in their head, and it's just a mess. 
So, you know, you, this is spirit saying to you, emotionally detach and ground yourself in something that makes you happy. Also wish fulfillment. What is it? So what is, what do you wish to do with your newfound strength and freedom, Aries? You know, um, that makes you happy. Wish fulfillment, dreams, desires, manifestations in the world. This is advice for spirit from your person. If they were listening, I didn't get the sense that they would be. Um, the advice is this ends a cycle for your person. And this type of person here, this king of swords you're dealing with, um, they will not want the cycle to end. They'll be like, no, I'm the king. Well, when the cycle ends, I mean, you're going to end up being the fool. And no king wants to be the fool when you get right down to it. But this is bigger than self. This is the energy of the advice from spirit, and it's the energy of Major Arcana, which is literally bigger than us. The fate, destiny, God, soul contract, soul work, I think, done primarily through relationship. And it's trying to tell your person here, it's like they need their own reading, honestly. I could riff right off of this, but I would digress. Um, because, I um, mean, they're uh, fighting, uh, changing this cycle, bad time to fight. If, if you have any contact with them, you probably just argue about it. But it's a terrible time to fight in this way. It's a great time to fight for something. They are fighting always against something, huh? They're always against. They're always telling what they don't like, what they don't want, what doesn't work about you, whatever. So, and they... That, this is a bad time to be in that kind of energy. Just saying, this line gate was powerful, the manifestation is powerful. So if that's all you're at, all you're banging that for months after months, all during this time, it's not going to bode well, okay? Where you're at is perfect. You're like on it. You're surfing the wave. Now let's get the advice from Spirit. I'll be gone, damn. The Nine of Pentacles. And this comes right next to the Nine of Cups. These are the two cards. <laughs> That indicate a single person. That indicates someone that's whole in themselves emotionally. This is a person that's even whole in themselves financially. They can take care of themselves uh, here. They don't need anyone to fulfill them. Self-fulfillment, fulfill wishes, wish fulfillment. They got that themselves. They're self-fulfilled. And they don't need anyone to take care of them. Sugar daddy, sugar mama whatever uh mama daddy they don't they got it you know and so this is you aries this is uh your advice from spirit for this relationship as a whole i just i don't see you reconciling with this person um people don't really change usually if they do it's a near-death experience it's a big deal it does happen but I see here no willingness of this person other than, you know, they will, the world comes, you know, and it's, you don't get a choice at a certain point, um, I think. Now, for the outcome here, Aries, Two of Cups, wow. Just look at this for a minute and see how that makes you feel. You know, there's two ways that this could go. You can go through all of this and truly individuate. Because I think the word I want here is individuate. Even if you're an adult, Aries, even if you're 50, 60, 70 years old, you're in this process of individuation. Maybe it's an ongoing process with more and more of being self-fulfilled and everything. And now, you know, here you have the option to have this Two of Cups energy. I have a hard time seeing that it's with this person, although my sense is they would take you back, you know, type of, if you want to look at it that way. But what's happening is you've set yourself free. You know, you're like the bird, the, the little door was open, you went out of the cage and you're now flying around free in the sunlight, you can only imagine that kind of feeling. And it's like, 
this person to me, Aries, would be like uh, going back and putting yourself back in that cage and just waiting for them to close the door on it. It's like impossible. I can't even, it makes me feel bad just thinking about it. And you know, this is corny, but at the very most high, highest octave here in the heart spread, what this is, is self-love, real deep self-love. And this comes with the Ace of Pentacles, a total commitment, complete sincerity. I mean, you can't lie about self-love. This is, I think, you, you're you there for feeling it. The Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. And um, I feel like, Aries, this person is best, you know, go through with this separation. If it's a divorce, a divorce. Uh, it's a weighing of the scales and deciding that in the end, Aries, you don't want to fly back into that cage and become that little bird in a cage anymore. You know, you, you're free now. So thank you guys. Do like, subscribe, need your help, thank you. Tell a friend, tell a friend.